I'm about to show you the exact three steps method for you to upload a CSV into LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Last year alone, we enriched hundreds of thousands of leads using that exact way. However, there is a heads up because you will need LinkedIn Sales Navigator Advanced to be able to use that particular feature. So if you're on LinkedIn Sales Navigator Core, you need to upgrade to follow along. One thing crazy is that no one is talking about what I'm going to tell you. So let's jump in scalers. To start, you need two things. Number one is a CSV with some key information, such as the company name, which is an information that is required, and the LinkedIn company URL. I really like having that information because at least there is no particular mistake that you can make once you upload the data. And second, you need a LinkedIn Sales Navigator advanced plan. For those who don't know LinkedIn Sales Navigator, it is the sales version of LinkedIn and it doesn't limit you in any shape or form whenever you need to consult leads profiles and also build lists of profiles and accounts. Here we are into LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And to upload a CSV, you need to go into accounts. Then what differentiates a LinkedIn Sales Navigator core plan and a LinkedIn Sales Navigator advanced plan is this button, upload accounts. Then you're going to have some indications that are provided by LinkedIn Sales Navigator for you to upload properly your CSV. First, you cannot upload more than 1,000 accounts into LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Second, you need to be able to map specific data and have some specific data into your CSV, such as either the LinkedIn company ID or the LinkedIn company URL. And then the more data you provide to LinkedIn Sales Navigator, the better it is such as the account name, the website URL, the country, the city, the street, etc., etc. So the account name, by the way, is required information. Now let's upload our CSV. So for that, we're going to take the CSV that we had here and we are going to upload it. Hop. As you can see, we can map the column headers with the LinkedIn accounts field. So account name is company name. I don't have the LinkedIn company ID, so it's, it's going to be not in the CSV. Company URL is the LinkedIn company URL. And then for all the other information, I don't have them. So I'm going to select not in CSV. That is done. And now we can click on continue. We can give a name to our account list, test account list upload and we click on finish and now you can see that our accounts are getting uploaded progressively into LinkedIn Sales Navigator. We have been able to import our data. Here is our file test account list upload five accounts. I know the owner is Jim Ortiz. I am not Jim Ortiz, but Jim Ortiz is one of my colleagues. I'm using his LinkedIn Sales Navigator advanced account. So now we're going to inspect the account list that we just uploaded. Let's click here. And as you can see, we have the five accounts that were in the CSV. Eskimos, Lemlist, Lovable, OpenAI, and Scalist. Our objective now would be to find the key decision makers from those five companies. However, it's a topic that I covered in another video that you can see right here, which is my LinkedIn Sales Navigator Masterclass. It's 33 minutes where I covered everything about LinkedIn Sales Navigator, how to build lead list, lead search, account list, account search, spot buying signals, find decision makers, and how to reach out to them. No fluff, just what works. So check it out. It's going to definitely level up what you've learned today. I hope you enjoy. See you in the next one.